Hello and welcome to this session by Tastel Factory and Western Computer, where we will show you the mobile WMS solution. My name is Lars Fisker and I'm a project manager with Tastel Factory, where we develop the mobile WMS solution. Tastel Factory is a partner of Western Computer, and in this session we will show you how to receive items in the warehouse using the solution for Dynamics NAV. We'll show a simple process. We have purchased some items and they have arrived at our warehouse ready to be received. In our warehouse, we have dedicated receiving personnel, so we will receive items to the receiving zone in the warehouse. The put-away process will be handled by other personnel, but we'll focus on the receiving part in this session. So let's begin. We have created a purchase order in advance, so let me just show you here in nav. We'll have this one, number 91, with three items here, one with lot tracking and a couple of items without any tracking. To be able to work on the order on the mobile device, we just have to release the order and we have to create a warehouse receipt. So we'll use the warehouse receipt in this session to receive the items. And just to mention, we're not using the put-away worksheet on this location, so our warehouse put-away will be created when we post the receipt. But we'll get back to that later on in the session. So let's click on Create Warehouse Receipt. And here we have number 71 created with the three items ready to be worked on. So let's go to the warehouse and the warehouse worker. And on the mobile device here, we'll just have to log in and we'll do that by scanning a barcode. And here we have the mobile WMS menu. So here from the menu, we'll just have to press on the receive functionality and here we have the order, we can see the number from the warehouse receipt, number 71 here. We'll just press the order. And here we have the order lines. And this is actually where the offline functionality in our solution kicks in. So our solution has been set up so you can just pick up a random item from, for example, the pallet, and the system will go directly to the line when you scan the item. So let's try and do that. And here we have to enter the quantity. And we can just validate the quantity by scanning the next item. And again, validate the quantities by scanning the next item. And here we have to set the expiration date and scan the lot number. As you can see, the application guides me through the process. So we'll just scan the lot number. And we'll just have to validate the quantity here. And we'll do that by pressing the check mark. All right, so now we have completed the registrations. And we'll click yes here. We have to enter a delivery note number. We'll do that manually by pressing scan barcode. And the order posted successfully. And here you can see no orders match the filter because we have posted the order. So let's go back to nav again. Here you can see if you go to the purchase order that the quantity is received for the three items here. And just to show you again, if we try to click on warehouse receipt, there's nothing to show in this view because we have posted the receipt. As I mentioned, we're not using the put away worksheet on this location. So when we posted the receipt, a warehouse put away was created. And we can see that by going to the put away functionality on the mobile device. So let's just press the functionality here. Here we have the put away order number 61. And if we open this one, so you can see that the lines that we worked on before, they are now available as put away order lines on the mobile device. All right. So that was how you can receive items in the warehouse using the mobile WMS solution. If you wish to learn more about the solution, please go to westerncomputer.com and contact Western Computer if you have additional questions or would like to schedule a personalized demo. Thank you all for watching.